The great thing about having such a small and thin laptop these days is having your workstation with you wherever you go. And then you can still have your full office desk set up thanks to a docking station. Today we have three universal docks here, the Dell D6000, the HP USB-C Universal, and the Targus Dock 190. These all connect through a single USB-C cable to give you multiple monitors out, extra USB ports, as well as charging your laptop. This is great for a hot desking environment where multiple employees come in with their own machines and share workspaces. First, let's look at the ports. So on the HP USB-C Universal, on the front we get a combo audio jack and a standby powered USB port. Then on the back we get another three USB ports, an ethernet jack and two display ports. So no HDMI out on this unit. On the Dell D6000, we get a combo port on the front, two USB ports, one with standby power and a USB-C. And then on the back we get an HDMI, two display ports, an ethernet jack, another two USB and a line in. Moving on to the Dock 190, most of the ports are on the back. On the side, we do get a USB port, and the other side, a USB-C and a combo audio jack. Then on the back, we get three USB ports, USB-C, Ethernet, two HDMI, and two display ports. So as far as I.O. connectivity goes, the Targus Dock 190 wins. I like that you have the option of two HDMI or two display port, where the other docks only offer one, or in the HP's case, only display port. None of these docks come with software except for the Targus, and this is another good feature of your hot desking. If the workstations have different monitor layouts, your computer will remember how you want your monitors placed. So next time you plug in, you're all ready to go, saving time and hassle. Now when we plug these docks in, they all work straight away. But are they getting the correct amount of power to charge your machine and sufficiently power all the connected peripherals? To find out, we have this little tool called a protocol analyzer. It observes the power delivery contract and fills out a spreadsheet, showing us the power supply requested by the laptop and then the capacity offered by the dock. After measuring the power delivery by each dock on three different brands of laptops, we can see just how much power is being offered. And looking at the results, the Dock 190 stood out as being able to offer more power than requested. Theoretically meaning you can not only display out and charge your laptop, but also plug in extra things like USB powered hard drives, or things that require more power than say, some of these other universal docks, which are only meeting the supply requested. So if you're a heavy user who requires a bit more power redundancy, this dock should be able to provide you with what you need. So we had no problems with compatibility across all the docks, they all worked on every brand we plugged into them. I think if power redundancy is a concern, you might want to take a closer look at the Dock 190. But very impressive all three docks, and if you're in a hot desk environment, this is what you need. I'm Eli from PBTech, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.